Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a licensed speech therapist in Southern California, and in this video, I'm going to teach you 10 signs of speech delay in two year olds. First, let's define the term speech delay. In my experience, speech delay means different things to different people. When talking to friends or parents, and often in more casual settings, the term speech delay is used to characterize a child's communication development as behind what we would expect for their age. It might be that they are hard to understand, or maybe they're saying less words than we would expect. But if you're talking to a speech therapist, they will use the term speech to refer specifically to a child's pronunciation skills or the sounds they can make. So a speech delay would be a delay in the child's ability to pronounce specific sounds clearly. In speech therapy, the term language is used to describe the way a child expresses themselves, the number of words they can say and what they can understand. So a speech therapist would define a language delay as a delay or a difference in the number of words that a child can say compared to their peers or differences in what they can understand compared to other children their age. For the purposes of this video, we'll refer to speech delay as an umbrella term. So we'll be talking about signs of a speech delay, whether it be a delay in pronunciation, a delay in a child's expression, or a delay in comprehension. If you have any concerns about your child's speech and language development, or if you identify one or more signs of a speech delay after watching this video, please, please consult with your child's pediatrician. Their pediatrician it will be like the gateway to finding the best support and services for your child. And before we get started, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button to be the first to see my weekly videos on toddler speech and language development. The first sign of a speech delay is if your two-year-old doesn't copy or doesn't try to copy words you say. Children learn to say new words by copying us, which makes us an important indicator of a potential speech or language delay. Because imitation is at the foundation of learning to talk, if your child isn't imitating or copying things that you say often, you definitely want to seek the support of a speech language pathologist who can work with your child individually to identify the best strategies to support them in learning the skill of imitation. A second sign of a speech delay is that your two-year-old isn't talking yet. Vocabulary size is one of the most commonly used measures of language development. If your two-year-old isn't talking yet, that's a sign of a delay in their language skills, specifically their expression. And what do I mean by talking? Well, at 24 months, most toddlers are saying at least 100 words on their own. And by the time they're two and a half or 30 months old, they're saying at least 300 different words on their own. Because the number of words a child says between the ages of two and three years old grows significantly, this makes it a great time to get the support of a speech therapist to assist your child in growing their vocabulary. Another sign of a speech delay is that your two-year-old isn't putting words together. Putting words together goes hand in hand with vocabulary size. Generally, toddlers will say 100 to 200 words individually before they begin combining words on their own in phrases or sentences. By the time toddlers turn two, they most often are combining two or more words into phrases and sentences when they're talking. That's what makes this a particularly important indicator of a speech or language delay for two-year-olds. The fourth sign of a speech delay is that your toddler isn't using words to ask for what they want. As their vocabulary grows, we expect two-year-olds to begin using words or combining words together to tell you what they want, more often than they're using gestures or pointing alone to make requests. If a child isn't using words to ask for what they want, this can be a sign of a delay in their language skills. Using words to ask for things is an important skill to support for two-year-olds. 
because toddlers who are able to more clearly and immediately express their wants and needs are less likely to become frustrated. The fifth sign of a speech delay for two-year-olds is that they don't learn new words quickly. By the time toddlers are two years old, we'd expect them to understand the meaning of several hundred, if not over a thousand words. Toddlers can roughly understand about 10 times as many words as they can say. And that's a lot of words. It's important not just to think about what your child can say, but also what they can understand. Because before your child can say a word to use it meaningfully and purposefully in conversation with others, they have to know what it means. If you feel like your child takes a long time to learn the meaning of new words, that could be a sign of a language delay, specifically a delay in their understanding of language. The sixth sign of a speech delay for two-year-olds is that your two-year-old doesn't answer some simple questions about what they want. Two-year-olds, as I'm sure you know, are motivated to get what they want. And that's why questions about things that they want and desire are some of the first questions that toddlers answer. By the time toddlers are two years old, it's expected that they'll answer some simple questions about what they want. Questions like, do you want milk? Are you hungry? And do you want a banana or an apple for your snack? If a child isn't yet understanding and answering simple questions about things that they want by the time they're two years old, this can be a sign of a language delay, specifically a delay in the understanding of language. Beginning to understand and answer simple questions is an important skill to support for two-year-olds because it will allow them to more clearly express their wants and desires, as well as have conversations with their friends and familiar adults. The seventh sign of a speech delay for two-year-olds is that they don't follow simple directions on their own. I understand that two-year-olds are famous for doing what they want and not listening to what you say. But on their good days, which should outnumber their less great days, we would expect two-year-olds to be able to easily understand and follow directions that they've heard before without your help. If a two-year-old isn't following simple one-step directions most of the time without your help, that's often a sign of a language delay. While it's often easier to notice delays in language expression or a child's talking skills, it's equally as important to identify and support delays in their understanding of language. Understanding skills are a key component to successfully communicating with others. The eighth sign of a speech delay in two-year-olds is that you can understand less than half of what your child says. A toddler's speech skills develop as they babble, talk in their own language, and begin saying words. By the time a toddler is 24 months old, we'd expect you to be able to understand at least half of the things that they say. And by the time they turn 36 months old or three years old, we'd expect you to understand 75 to 100% of the things that child says. If you can understand less than half of what your child says, that can be a sign of a speech delay, a delay in the development of their pronunciation skills. Identifying challenges with pronunciation skills early on is very important because typically it's easier for children to learn the correct pronunciation at an earlier age. And we wouldn't expect you to understand 100% of what a 24 month old says because they're still learning to pronounce many of the sounds spoken in English. I've included a link in the notes below to an article that describes the sounds we would expect a 24 month old to say and which sounds we would expect they're still learning. And the list of sounds I've included in the link in the notes below applies specifically to children who speak English. Fun fact, children who grow up speaking languages other than English or in a bilingual household can develop sounds at different ages. Generally speaking, the sounds that are most prominent in the language are developed early on, and some languages favor one sound over the other. That's why there's a difference. The ninth sign of a speech delay in two-year-olds is that they can't clearly pronounce the different vowel sounds. A, A, E, O, and U. 
Vowel sounds are extremely important for pronunciation. Pronouncing vowel sounds correctly makes it much easier for someone else to understand what you're saying. Changing the vowel sound often changes the meaning of short words. And most often the words that toddlers say first are short words because they're easier to pronounce than long words. Think about the following words, bat, butt, bet, bit, boot, beat. The consonant sounds stay the same in all these words, but the vowel sound changes and that completely changes the meaning of the word. If your child has difficulty pronouncing different vowel sounds, this can be a sign of a speech delay or a delay or difficulty in the ability to pronounce specific sounds. If you notice that it's hard for your child to pronounce the different vowel sounds, I highly suggest you seek the support of a speech therapist. A speech therapist will be the key in identifying why your child is having a hard time pronouncing the vowel sounds and how you can best support them in learning to pronounce those sounds. The 10th and final sign of a speech delay that we'll cover in this video is that a two-year-old has difficulty pronouncing specific consonant sounds made in the front of your mouth. The consonant sounds made in the front of your mouth are often the first sounds that toddlers will pronounce clearly. And that's because they're the easiest to imitate. They can more easily see what we're doing with our mouth when we pronounce sounds made in the front of our mouth, like mm, as opposed to sounds made in the back of our mouth, like cut. The sounds made in the front of your mouth include sounds that are made with your lips, like mm, as in mama, me, and more, pa, as in papa, p, and pop, and ba, as in baby, bye, and beep, as well as sounds made with your tongue, t, as in t, to and toot, da as in dada, dump and mud, and n as in no, on and oh no. If a child is two years old and isn't pronouncing these sounds in at least some words, it can be a sign of a speech delay, which can impact other people's ability to understand what a child is saying. Much like with the vowels, I highly recommend seeking the support of a speech therapist who can listen to your child talk and get a better understanding of what might be making it hard for them to pronounce these sounds in the front of their mouth and identify the best strategies for teaching them to pronounce these sounds more clearly. So to review, here are 10 signs of a speech delay in two-year-olds. Not copying words they hear people say not saying words on their own yet, not putting words together into phrases and sentences, not using words to ask for what they want, not learning the meaning of new words quickly, not answering questions about what they want, not following familiar directions, being understood less than half of the time, not clearly pronouncing vowel sounds, and not clearly pronouncing consonant sounds made with the lips or tongue. If you identified one or more of these signs of a speech delay in your child's communication, be sure to speak with your child's pediatrician. Their pediatrician will be able to connect you with the best and most appropriate resources and supports for your child. They can also submit a request to your insurance company so that your child can have a formal speech and language evaluation with a speech therapist in your community. Having an in-person speech and language evaluation is so valuable because the speech therapist will be able to play and interact with your child to observe their communication and identify specific ways that they can support their individual communication development. If you're curious to know more about speech and language evaluations for toddlers and what to expect, I've linked a blog post in the notes below that describes everything you need to know um, how to prepare for a speech and language evaluation with your toddler. And if you've identified one or more signs of a speech delay in your toddler, I understand that the idea of waiting to talk to your pediatrician and waiting for a speech and language evaluation seems terrible. And that's why I created the online Toddler Talk program. It's designed to support parents who are looking to teach their child specific speech and language skills at home 
while they're waiting to get into speech therapy. Best of all, we have lessons that correspond to each of the specific signs of a speech delay we discussed in this video. Again, I'll link it in the notes below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video so we can help other families and parents find these valuable resources. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Lastly, as I've mentioned in the notes below, this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be substituted for medical advice. If you have concerns about your child's communication development, you should consult with your pediatrician and or a speech therapist.